above the waterline. These are formed by snowfall in very cold places where it will not melt in the summer. The snow builds up and compacts into ice. This is gradually then pulled down by gravity into the sea. Iceberg is a large piece of ice floating in the sea. We have about 90% under the water and then only 10% be common during spring because that what is this noise? <gasps> she's eating candy. No, she's eating candy. Detention, both of you. Sour gummy worms, yum! Is there anything better? Here's an easy way to sneak them in class. Take a few coloring pencils and glue them together using a glue gun or a super glue. You'll end up with a panel made out of pencils. It sort of reminds me of those wooden water wraps. Take a clean tin pencil case and fill it up with loads of delicious gummy worms or any other snack of your choice. To hide this goodness from your teacher, place the pencil cover on top. What an epic idea that allows us to have our favorite gummy snacks always on hand during class. When you feel a bit hungry, simply lift the cover and grab a treat. Delicious and super sneaky. The teacher will never suspect that your pencil case is filled with snacks and not just pencils. Is Katie eating a lip balm? Of course not, this is one of my favorite chocolate treats. Get an empty and completely clean EOS container ready. Grab a pair of pliers and start clipping away the tiny sticks in the middle of the container. The plastic is quite soft, so this isn't hard to do at all. We got a larger empty space ready to be filled with the most delicious treat ever. You can use any rounded shaped chocolate or candy. I decided for the one called Raffaello. Push it inside the opening, screw the lid on and it's ready to go with you to school. White chocolate and coconut combination is so delicious. It is also white which is perfect because from the distance it looks exactly like a lip balm. Bingo! Nerds candies are so tasty and cute. They are a must during classes, so check out this amazing hack to hide them from your teacher. Grab an eraser and pull it out of the wrapper. Take a knife and make a cut about one third away from the edge. Now do the same on the other side. As you can see, your eraser has been divided into three pieces. Put the middle part aside as we don't need it anymore. Place one eraser piece back inside the wrapper. Now take any small candy of your choice. I want these delicious nerds. First, I'm pouring in lots of blue ones which have the berry flavor, but we do not discriminate. Tropical punch flavor is just as yummy. We need some of those as well. Num num. Lastly, grab the other piece of eraser and place it inside the wrapper. What an epic idea! The eraser looks completely normal and you can still use it to erase your mistakes. But when you have a sweet craving, you can also enjoy a bunch of these delightful nerd drops. This is Ward's most delicious eraser for sure. Raining chocolate bars, which one would you pick? I'm going for this Milky Way Rolls. Grab a marker or a pen that is wide enough to fit the chocolate stick inside. Remove the marker tip, open up the casing and take the ink tube out as well. Wash both of those pieces thoroughly under the running water. Now take the chocolate pack, unwrap it and grab one chocolate stick. 
push the stick inside the pan tube. Take the lid, pop it on and there we have it. A perfectly camouflaged chocolate stick ready to be enjoyed in class. Feel like having something sweet? Just pull the lid off, take a bite and you already feel much more energized. Bingo! Have you ever noticed that the package of Oreos has the same shape as a pencil case? <laughs> well, I have, so let's transform this Oreo pack in a legit pencil case. Grab some small scissors because they're easier to work with and make a cut along the entire Oreo packet like this. Now take a glue gun and apply a few stripes along the top and bottom side of the cut we made earlier. You can use other sort of glue, just make sure that it works on plastic and fabric materials. Take a zipper and place it on top while the glue is still soft. Next you want to take a fabric of your choice, I went for this pretty blue with white polka dots. Place it on a flat surface with the front facing down. Put your Oreos on top. Grab some fabric glue or a glue gun and apply a stripe along the top and bottom sides of the zipper. Wrap the fabric around the cookies and stick the ends to the zipper. And do this on the top and bottom side. To make our Oreos look exactly like a pencil case, the easiest way is to take two small elastics and tie them on the sides like this. Now it looks like a real candy pencil case, which is super accurate as it's filled with sweet and yummy Oreos. Let's impress our friends with it. For the last 10 minutes of today's class, you can start reading chapter 9. I'm in love with this Oreo pencil case idea because it's just so unique and creative. You can use it for any kind of cookies that have a similar rounded packaging. <laughs> yum yum, sitting in class has never tasted better. These chocolate eggs were probably my favorite sweets when I was little and Play-Doh pot seems like a perfect container to hide them in. Grab a pot of Play-Doh and take the dough out. All we need to do is to replace it with the Kinder Egg. I have this packet of three, so let's see what's inside. Hmm, which one would you choose? I'm going for the middle one. You can already unwrap it to make it easier to grab in class, but I'm just keeping it with the wrapper on. Put the lid on and it's ready to take to school. Whenever the sweet carvings kick in, simply reach for your Play-Doh pot and have some yummy chocolate. You can even trick your friends by offering them a pot as well. And too bad that this one does not contain any chocolate. <laughs> also, don't forget about the toy. Who would have thought that school can be so much fun? This paperclip package looks like a perfect container to sneak some yumminess into class. Take out all the paper clips and fill the pot with candy of your choice. I'm going for Reese's peanut butter cups. The lid has a little transparent opening. Cover it with a bunch of clips and place a cardboard circle on top. This will hold the paper clips up so that they don't fall into our peanut butter cup. On the outside, this creation looks like a regular pack of paper clips. However, we know that there's something way more delicious hiding inside. Which Reese's cup do you prefer? The regular or white chocolate? One. I love white chocolate on general, but lately I've been avoiding it because it tends to be way more sweet, so I'd have to go for regular. You know when you're so hungry and just want to eat everything that crosses your path? Like this necklace for example. 
bad idea. But you can make a necklace that is completely edible. Tie some gummy candy onto a thread. I use this sour peach circle and four other fruit flavored gummy. You can use any candy you like as long as they have a hole so they are easy to tie up. This is how my finished product looks like. A cute fashion statement and an epic sweet snack in one. I love how customizable this one is and you can use any kind of your favorite gummies. My personal favorite are sour ones. What about yours? In any case, this sweet necklace is a super convenient accessory for when you need a quick tasty treat. Looks like Katie loves edible accessories as well. To make a delicious marshmallow bracelet, you need a thread, needle and a bunch of mini marshmallows. Lead the needle through the marshmallows to stack them up on a thread like this. When your row of marshmallows is long enough to fit your wrist, remove the needle and you can tie the yummy bracelet on. Looks adorable and tastes even better. When hunger creeps in, you can simply take a bite of your bracelet and you're good to go. People sometimes call bracelets and other accessories arm candy and this creation is exactly that, a literal candy on on your arm. <laughs>